Hi, and welcome back to the Conversion Gorilla tutorial series. This is a series of short tutorials on how to use Conversion Gorilla to create different kinds of attention getting bars so that you can lead your visitors to exactly what you want them to do. So in this video, we're going to talk about how you can use these bars to build your subscriber list. And before you get started, you may not have any need of this because you may use something like uh, Thrive Leads, where you can do pop-ups or ribbons, um, or you may use an autoresponder that um, can do these pop-ups. The reason why this caught my eye was that I spent probably a week or so with um, a new to me, well, actually not really new to me autoresponder, but new to me in terms of using it for myself. I had used it for clients and I was just having a really hard time getting the pop-ups to work as I wanted to. And so because of that, when I came across Conversion Gorilla, um, the fact that this was so easy made it kind of like a no brainer. So um, if you already have something that does pop up bars and you are completely familiar with it, then this is probably not going to be one of the add ons that you want. But if you are like me, where you are you know, dangerous in terms of just enough understanding um, to be dangerous, then this might be something that makes pop-ups a little bit easier for you if you haven't been able to figure them out before. So let's get into it. I'll show you how this works and then you can decide whether this is for you or not. Okay, so we're gonna select the last one and you have the same options that you've seen before. So you have a standard bar, which is the one line bar, uh, the feature bar, which gives you two lines of text, and then the big old hero bar where you have lots of space. We saw it with a video call to action bar. I'm going to keep it simple and I'm going to choose just the standard bar. Okay, so again, you know the deal. We need to name the, the bar. Um, okay. Right, and then I'm going to underline and bold the word free. And I'm going to use my normal drop shadow and everything else is going to stay the same. Um, for this one, I think I'm going to, let's see, I'll leave it at the top. Um, I'll have it follow the person and I'll have it overlay. Uh, I do want it to show on exit. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to be putting this on a blog post. So I'm going to go ahead and say that I want it to appear after the person has read 80% of the, or scrolled 80% of the way down because then they'll have, gotten a whole lot of value from the blog post. All right. Um, just to let you see how this works, I will leave it at no for locking the bar. So this means that they will be able to use the X to close it. All right. So, um, 
only use a countdown one, so let's use an evergreen. And let's say that we want to say 10 or oh, 7 days. Um, there's no other place that I want it to redirect to, so it just, I'll leave this blank. And the evergreen means that no matter when that person lands on it, it's going to be personalized to them. So, um, you know, whenever they land on that page, that person lands on that page, then they'll have seven days. And when somebody else lands on it, they'll also have seven days. So that's the difference between the evergreen and the date and time. So we'll leave it as that. Um, I'm going to use a rounded button. I'll leave the button color the same. And I'll do a lazy shake for that one. So this is what my button text is going to be. Um, oops. Okay. I wish I could put that in bold, but that's not possible and that's okay. All right. Um, so this is what, if I go back, let's look at what it looks like so far. So here's a countdown timer, and then this is my message, and of course this is the button text. So um, this is what the slide out bar is going to look like when the person clicks on the button. Okay, so... Um, So that's going to be the submit button. I will choose the rounded one again. Opt in type. So here I could use a standard, which is what it's showing. I could use an image. So if I had a picture of the uh, guide, I could put that there and then I just upload it. Or I could use a video. Um, and that's where I would put the URL or the, the embed code. But I'm just going to use a standard for now. And let's see, what will I put here? Um, So there is a limit. I'm not exactly sure. I haven't counted the characters. All right, so we'll just leave it at that. Okay, so it's going to say, enter your name and email below. It tells them to put their name, their email, and then that's what the button will say. All right, so this is where um, if I had not already connected my autoresponder, then I would um, do that. I would need to go do that. Um, so let's see. You'll see that there are quite a few different integrations that they have. Um, this is what it will show. Let's see. Please check your email for your oops, guide. All right, we're not going to show the bar again. And if we wanted to, let's say that we had a page that we wanted to uh, show after, then we could easily 
put the URL of the redirect there and then it would redirect them to that page. But we're just going to show the message. And go ahead and click on next. I am going to remove the branding and I'm not going to be showing it on a third party site. So let's save and exit. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to go ahead and install the, um, the code here, the snippet. And actually, let me just go ahead and show you how you do that. All right, so I'm going to copy it and I'm using the header footer, what is it called? Um, I forget. But anyway, um, this one allows you to show codes on exactly the pages that you want them or the posts that you want them to be on. So a lot of the code snippet or the headers and footer, header and footer plugins, you can only add in codes to be shown on um, all of your website. But with this one, and this is the one that uh, Promote Labs has suggested, you can actually decide what posts you want it to be on, or um, you could have it site-wide, you could um, show it on different pages, specific pages. So I've selected specific posts, and this is the post that I want it to show up on. So here, here's the post, okay. And you can tell it where you want it. So they ask you to put it after or at the end of the body. So that's what we're going to do. So we just put it in there. And okay. So my word fence is working. Um, all right, so there it is. So let's update. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to edge and if I did everything correctly oof. okay so I see something that I need to fix so let's go to it to edit um, all right let's see it was supposed to show after scrolling. All right, so I'm not really sure what happened. So let's go to an incognito window in Chrome and let's see, let's see if it behaves better. Hmm, it's still showing up. Huh. Okay, so um, to my parents, done settings. Hmm. User error. <laughs> um. All right, so I'm not sure, maybe, okay, maybe what I need to do, all right, let's try adding it again. 
And this is also the first time that I've worked with this um, header and footer, so it could be something to do with that as well. All right, so let's try it again and see if it works. Okay, so I'll have to figure that one out because I'm not sure why it's not working quite right. Okay, let me pause and let's see if I can figure this out. Okay, so what I did was I went ahead and changed it over to uh, showing up at the bottom. So I went to my settings and told it to come up at the bottom. Um, okay. And then I installed that snippet on there. So let's go ahead and So that's my blog post, and I am scrolling, and scrolling, and scrolling, and there we go. Okay, so it popped up at the bottom. I click on send me the guide. That's a message, and if I put my email address in, then... click. All right, so that's the thank you message, okay? And if I wanted to, I could close this. Or maybe not. I may need to work on that. So a lot of this probably has nothing to do with conversion gorilla and everything to do with user error and the fact that I'm using um, the uh, code snippet thing a little I'm new to it. So um, you saw that it worked there. If I had clicked on this just as a preview, you'll see that it pops up as it should. Okay. And you're seeing that it's the countdown is going relative to me, so if I were to do this on, let's say, an incognito window, then it would probably show me seven days. Okay, so that's how you use the um, the lead. They call it the uh, lead bar, I believe. And as I said, this may not be something that you need because you may be perfectly comfortable with whatever you're using for your pop-ups. I wasn't, and it was taking me much too long to get pop-ups going. And so when I saw this, I thought, oh my gosh, this is gonna make my life so much easier. So anyway, um, that is it in terms of the conversion gorilla tutorials about the bars that um, you can create. So hope this was helpful and hope you check out the other videos so that you can see everything that conversion gorilla has to offer. I'll see you soon.